Hi. I'm not actually going to build anything this week. I thought uh, what we'll do is take a look at one of these 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi amplifiers and see if they really do improve your signal. And what I'm going to do to test this is I'm going to put my portable alpha router in my neighbour's house and we'll look at signals without the amplifier and we'll look at signals with the amplifier. And then I thought we'll have a look at how well it receive signals so what we're going to do we're going to have a look see if it can improve the um, receiving strength of a wi-fi card so as well as plugging it into a router where it broadcasts its signal we'll have a look at how well it receives a signal and we'll also we can't leave it without uh, opening it up and see what's inside so we'll also be doing that like i said i've uh, set the router up in my neighbor's house At the minute, we're getting on Insider, we're getting minus 76 dB, which um, minus 50% is near enough 100% signal, like 95% signal, and that's my actual access point in the house. So you can use that as a comparison, minus 77. On uh, Vista Stumbler, which I like, it's not very accurate, but it gives this nice block graph um, that visually you can see how strong and how, uh, how good the signal is and uh, you can also see dropouts pretty easily in here so like I said at the minute there's no amplifier attached to this at all so what I'm going to do now I'm going to go attach the amplifier and then we can compare the signals before and after so as you can see that I just gave it a minute to settle down and it's definitely uh, looks like it's doubled the signal strength um, insiders now displaying it as minus 54, minus 55 and you can see on this block that it has doubled, effectively doubled the signal strength so in that instance definitely on its uh, broadcasting capabilities it uh, is doubling the signal so uh, I think uh, what we'll do now is we'll connect a Wi-Fi card up to the laptop and put the amplifier in line with the Wi-Fi card and an antenna and see what we get on uh, the receive side of things so here we are again and this is the uh, adapter card obviously receiving without the um, amplifier this time and you can see here it's slightly this is the original one with the internal Wi-Fi card and this is the external Wi-Fi card which I need to, I need an external one so I can connect the amplifier onto and it is slightly more powerful than my internal card anyway but uh, what I'll do now is I'll connect the amplifier up and see if it uh, increases the signal on the receive Okay, this is um, the Wi-Fi card with the amplifier connected and as you can see on uh, the right hand side on the block graph it has significantly improved the signal not quite as good as having it connected to a router it hasn't doubled it but the Wi-Fi card is slightly more powerful than the uh, internal one we're using first anyway but um, over here on the left hand side, Insider is reporting the signal to be minus 59 which is slightly less than when you've got the amplifier connected to the router itself but uh, one thing I have noticed is you don't get as many access points showing up there's hardly any access points there at all and there should be about six at least on this side this this uh, Vista Stumble has just refreshed itself but it's still running so look there it has got a few dropouts though it's not so much of a stable signal and that's probably down to uh, the noise it creates but uh, what I'd do is connect a better antenna up to the uh, wireless card just to show 
how will a better antenna on its own work without an amplifier and I've got a bi-quad antenna connected to it at the minute and as you can see that is way outperforming the actual amplifier and again if you look on the left hand side of the screen we've got more wireless access access points showing up there than before which obviously is not creating as much noise and over here on the graph see it's now getting just under 90 percent on this graph and on insider we're getting minus 53 percent which is pretty good so a good antenna will outperform one of these amplifiers serial number on the chip which is 65135-21 takes you straight over to the Skyworks website where they have a pretty uh, in-depth PDF you can download from their site and they manufacture this chip to use in amplifier applications and it is definitely a 2 watt amplifier which is just what it claims to be a lot of information there its output its minimum output and voltage usage everything else um, so yeah if you're into that sort of thing plenty of reading for you there so would I use one of these on my own network to improve the signal no I wouldn't um, they get extremely hot and they're not as good at receiving as they are at broadcasting even the data sheet shows that they make a lot of noise um, just because the signal will probably be excellent doesn't mean to say that it's a good signal if there's a lot of noise and interference then packets of data will be dropped which means your device has got to continuously ask for that packet to be resent again which will mean it will slow your network down especially if you're streaming video or music if you're looking to improve your network and improve the signal then I would go look at first just maybe repositioning your router and that can often help if not then look at the antennas and if you're wanting to get a signal into a part of your home where it's completely dead I would look at using a repeater there's lots of repeaters on the market nowadays some good and some bad and sometimes you can even use one of your old routers as a repeater a lot of them have or have got that ability built into them so uh, that's a much better way of getting there a signal around the home rather than using one of these and please don't use Chinese power supplies they're like little bombs waiting to go off although this one never worked at all because transistors are the wrong way around thanks for watching if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time so I was going to leave the video there but when it came to editing I noticed uh, when I had the amplifier near the microphone I got quite a lot of feedback noise for it so I went and had a rummage around and I found a old Rangeland 2 card which was made by Proxon I think it's getting on for about 13 years old now and that particular Wi-Fi card came with a program called Snoop now you could use Snoop as a very basic spectrum analyzer so what I did I fired it up and I ran the amplifier to see what kind of noise levels we got and on the left hand side here is actual background noise that's normal in my house from my uh, wireless access point my neighbours which isn't a lot and here I turn on the amplifier you can see the noise levels all across the band and as a comparison I thought I'd uh, also record the noise in a microwave oven here on the right so you can compare both so there we go it's uh, almost as noisy if not noisier than a microwave oven <laughs>